No, no, not canceled. <laughs> not canceled. Not today. Eugene, I'm saved. Yes. She's not canceling them. All right, guys. Well, People thank are probably like, who's Eugene? <laughs> Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us. That's Alexis. That's Bert. And by request, everybody's been complaining because uh, we haven't done a Def Leppard yet. Well, we have. We did. It just, the audio got corrupted. Yeah. And we never could post it. We did right. um, Armageddon, I think was the first one. Yeah, I don't remember the name of it. <laughs> yeah. So we did that one. That was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. Yeah. So I was like, okay, we got to get to do some Def Leppard. And I figure we'll go ahead and do Love Bites. That's a decent ballad. Ooh, for our spectacular series. Yeah, what? That's funny. Love Bites. That's like a very, vampire. That's very funny. Did you not think of that? I did not. <laughs> I, I thought that's it. why you brought it. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's why you brought it. She's beating up my microphone. To be for the spectacular series. No, I just that's wanted to just do Def Leppard. That's straight coincidence. Had no idea. Love bites. I get it. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Unbelievable. That's so funny. Nope. I told you I'm oblivious. My wife decorated well, last night. Well, you're welcome. De thank you. My wife, she decorated this last night and I walked by this morning and never saw it. She actually, I walked in the other room. She's in there and she's like, she has to get up, grab me, turn me around and walk me in here to go, look what I did. And then you're like, oh, wow, it looks yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. Had no clue. Walked right by it, never saw it. I wonder if she never would have told you if we would have ever recognized until I got here. Pro uh, there's a good chance I would not there's have. There's no way. There's a good, if I, if she would have just turned on all the lights and said I took care of all the lights, I probably would have sat down and never noticed it. <laughs> That's what happens. That's hilarious. I'm telling you. Well, I don't see certain things. this is perfect for our yes. spectacular series. So this is, um, yeah, this is a good song. It's a ballad song. And um, yeah, heartbreak. Okay. So. The vampires? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they get stuck in the heart, yeah, that's a heartbreak. Yep. Well. Your show that you have. They rip the heart out. Do they? Is that how you kill them? <laughs> yeah, that's how they kill people. Or they break their necks. No, or they but I mean them. the vampires. So, how do you kill vampires? So, yeah, so when they kill vampires in your in series, the do they poof? No. Do they, like, set on fire or anything like that? Well, <gasps> they can. Okay. They can. But okay. no, you just stick them in the heart, and then they just, like, like... Shrivel up. <coughs> that was dramatic. Still. Did you take theater in school? Nope. Oh. That was good. Maybe I should have. You should have. My secret calling. <laughs> oh, God, I can't wait to see that back. That's going to be funny. Okay, so Def Leppard Love Bites... <laughs> Halloween spooktacular version, I guess. There you go. See? <laughs> Part of our spooktacular series. You're welcome. <laughs> oh. Hang on. Sorry. Start that over. When you make love, do you look in your mirror? Who do you think of? Does he look?
What is what? What did he say? If you've got love in your sights, watch out. Love bites. Love bites. I really liked his his voice, but I also like the harmonies that they have in there too. Oh God, Def Lever was so good at that. Yeah, he looks like he has a nice smile too. Yeah, there's a lot of side angles, but he looks like he has a nice smile. Yeah, Joe Elliott was he's a good looking guy. Yeah, um, I in the chorus, you know, it says "Love bites, love bleeds." Yes. Love dies. Yes. <laughs> so it is a horror. I told you. Well, it's a horror because she's like consumed with her, and it's like you know, it's not love if you throw it about. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. and that's, it, it's funny, because the more I listen to these songs, I'm like, wow, man. Like they were impactful and you just didn't even realize yeah, it? Yeah, well, these songs, it, it's so funny, because I never, <laughs> it, it sounds dumb, but I didn't, the more I listen, Yeah. especially doing what we're doing now, Right. like all the ones I gravitate towards are the ones where the girl like screwed the guy over. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And it's yeah. like this, this, you have like you this ripped under, my heart you out. You have this underlying like ability to connect with those songs. So you I do. Like, pulled towards them. Well, I was treated like crap when I was yeah. like young. Right. Cause I didn't look like him or Sebastian or any of them. So I was, <laughs> I was one of those. So, but no, and it's, it's funny because you hear this and you go, yeah, I, I get that man. And yeah. it's like, she's, you know, somewhere else. But even someone like him is singing that, so. I know, well, that's the thing. Well, I, God, we, I've had that conversation. You know, like when people talk about like Shakira uh, and I guess like her husband left her, cheated on her, whatever, and, yeah, and Halle Berry and stuff. Crazy. And people, yeah, and I'm like, okay, I don't get Shakira, like seriously, yeah. but it's like, it can happen. To anyone. It doesn't matter. Yeah, Shakira's like the most beautiful person on the planet. Yeah. And like talented and all that stuff and like Halle Berry. It's like. Yeah. Yeah. So it makes you feel better. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> makes me feel better. But no. So, I, but their harmonies, that's uh, one of the amazing. things. Def Leppard's, and that's really where they kind of like separated a lot from that new English metal that came out. Okay. Uh, in the early 80s, late 70s, yeah. early 80s. Uh, their harmonies and, and structures of songs, the way that they phrase things, and, and also some of the effects. Mutt Lang had a lot to do with this, but uh, they were just amazing and yeah. still are. They, you know, well, I saw a little tab that said that they had a new album. Yeah, so they've been on stadium tour, and it was Even Def now. Leppard. Yeah, it was Def Leppard, Poison, uh, Motley Crue, okay, and Joan Jett. Wow, and what a combo there. Yeah, and Def Leppard got the best reviews. Def Leppard and Poison get the best reviews. Of all of them. Yeah. Uh, of both, you know, of all four bands. Gotcha. And it's, it's, they have always just put on good shows still to this wow. day. They know how to do it. And they're just really, really good at it. Good for them, honestly. And it's, you know, I, and we talked about it in the, in the last one. The, one of the things I loved about Def Leppard was after Rick Allen lost his arm. And that was in between Pyromania and Hysteria, which this came off of Hysteria. Okay. Um, they... They stuck by him when they could have gotten another drummer, finished the album, yeah. and then said, okay, well, if you figure out what you're doing, we'll go on tour afterwards. Mm -hmm. But they did it. Yeah. That's one of the things that stuck with me as a, as a Def Leppard fan from, you know, high and dry and on yeah. through the night, like the early, early days. You, you gained a different type of respect for I them. did. No, and I, it's so funny because I was such a big fan of theirs early. Yeah. Before they got famous here and, you know, right. before they superstar them and sell, yeah. you know, 100 million albums. It's, but when they did that, when they when they stuck by Rick Allen and said, okay, we're gonna put this on hold. Yeah. At a time when they were really ready to pop, right? And they mm. had, the album, Hysteria album took so long to make because of that, cost so much money. Everything was right. They literally gambled their entire future on the album, basically on him and said, we're gonna stick by you. We're not gonna get anybody else. You do your thing. Come up with a drum, and he he said, "I'm did. coming back on an invented drum, a way to drum with one arm," and he did. That's and insane. Killed it. No, That's it's insane. It's it's something that you don't see, and they did it, and it shows in in the camaraderie and the, the all for one kind of deal in that band. No, I absolutely agree with that. I so. can totally see how people can 
gain a sense of respect for them yeah. just for that yeah. in general, not even musically. No. Just for that. Just that story yeah. of you, you know, how many bands were willing to basically roll the dice on their career? I feel like not many because a lot of people money talks. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and the studios talk. Back yeah. then, you oh, know. Oh, yeah. But even now, the studios talk. Absolutely. Big time. Absolutely. No, can, can you imagine? I mean, let's just say, you know, well, there are no, God, I'm trying to think of like bands that are integral parts of each other. Yeah. That are that. But. That album was so big. There were so many number ones off that one album. Wow. They actually, they had to shut it down because they were just touring on that album so much. And it was like, you know, I think they toured. Correct. Tell me in the comment section, but I think they toured on that like two years. Wow. That's a long time, right? Yeah. For yeah, just basically nonstop. Yeah. Just still Holy on the road and they cow. kept booking shows. That's, you, that, that year, it was hysteria, pour some sugar on me, which... You know that's one of those songs that everybody knows, um, and and this the the Harvard, but there were so many good songs. Yeah. Rocket, there are so many good songs on that album. That's, yeah. Usually, there's only like one or two that are like that, big songs. That thing was basically top to bottom, um, all top ten hits. It's it was crazy. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Good for them, as it should have been. I don't know how many albums it's all. I think it was cleared twenty five million, something like that. Wow. Yeah, it was absurd. That's crazy. Whatever it's done, it's it's an absurd amount of sales. Holy cow! Could not go anywhere without Def Leppard shirts and yeah, yeah. Wow. The mullet. <laughs> coming back. <laughs> it's coming back. Coming back. Oh well, hopefully you liked that reaction. If you did, please give us a like, subscribe, and click the bell. That way, you get notified every time we upload a brand new video. I'm glad you like that I one. I did like it. I figured you'd dig the harmonies. You can really hear them here. Absolutely. And you can kind of see how they're created, too. Yeah. So I, I mean, there's. A, I know a lot of people, like, I know a lot of people that like Def Leppard. So it's like, really? I just never have really listened to them. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll see. Yes. Def Leppard in Alexis's playlist. Yeah. At least she didn't cancel them. No. No, not canceled. <laughs> not canceled. Not today. Eugene, I'm saved. Yes. <laughs> She's not canceling them. All right, guys. Well, People thank are like, who's Eugene? <laughs> Why would she cancel them? <laughs> I know. Yeah, you have watch to join the, our lives yeah, on enjoy, Tuesdays. Jo enjoy the live show every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Great way. That was a good transition. Yes. Uh, every Tuesday, join us 7 p.m. right here on YouTube, and you'll see who Eugene is and, and Kenneth. And why and, I canceled And Doobie things. Dave and why she cancels things. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us. That's Alexis. That's Birch. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Later.